love Shane Dawson so much and I love Jeffree Star so much. Them together is honestly iconic and goals. It's truly iridescent. Hi, hunties! Rachel here. We are doing a video on the Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star. Not only the conspiracy palette, we're also going to dive in a little bit to the mini controversy as well. So if you want to see how these two palettes perform, my thoughts about them, if they're both worth your money, depending on the sale and restock and what you got them, um, this was either $72 originally when the first launch was up. You get these for $72 or you got them on the restock where you paid separately and got this for $80. So if you want to see if both these palettes for $80 are worth it, keep on watching. I'm going to zoom you guys in, but before we get in, I just want to show you guys. It is stunning. Can we talk about this? It, it's not way different in person, but there's the Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star logo. This is iconic because it's really reflective, really draws your eye to it. And then of course here, um, it's really like it locked in. Um, I have my little Jeffree Star moment going on. I think I'm going to keep it like this unless I'm using the palette. I have like the other Jeffree Star palettes I've bought. This is like, um, a, like the lock like closes, but it doesn't feel as like tight. But the controversy palette really feels like tight. It's locked in. It's not going to move around at all, which is really good. And I'm, which is what I really like. And then when you open this up, you guys have already seen it, I'm sure. But like, let's give it this moment on this channel. This is the palette. Now, literally, oh my gosh, we have all the shades. Now, uh, like, I did not know how neon that yellow is. Um, the shade Food Vibes, and I'm so happy that I'm holding this palette on my channel. Like, it's crazy. S watching, I watched the whole documentary, seeing it, being hyped, being it this made, and it's in our hands, it's crazy. Like, it feels it's special um it's a very special moment and it's changing the game i love the shade names um ranch food vi videos trisha oh i said food vibes i meant food videos it's so neon um when i would describe it i would describe it sunset neutral palette um so literally i know i did a sunset last time so i'm not gonna do that but i'm gonna do what i used to do on my channels on my on my channel i used to do a lot of halo eyes so I'm going to be doing a halo eye, trying to use as many shades as I can. I have my base down because you guys have seen it a million times. I went so full coverage. This is going to be my everyday routine. Like these cheekbones are on fire. So keep on watching to see this palette in action. All right, so we brought you guys in really close so you can see the eyes. I do also have them primed with my MAC Soft Oak Repaint Pot. It's really nice and primed. Let me also show you guys really quick the um, mini controversy. First off, but the packaging on this as well is so stunning. Um, it's its own moment. It's not like they're having the same print and everything, like the conspiracy. Um, there's like that reflectiveness on the rainbow. You open it up and there's even more colors. I really love this story. Like they're also like yummy and juicy. The only shade you get that you have in both palettes is Diet Rupia, that center shade, which I personally like thinking about it. I think it would be cool if they would have released that green shade they were talking about initially as a single shade because we already have Diet Root Beer. Nonetheless, um, it's really stunning and it does give a good like transition. Um, I, this is crazy. I'm holding it in my hands. So I'm going to use not all the shades um, from this one, but just a little bit. What really drew me is on my couch, it provides it's a really nice um, like neutral shade. It's like a really nice light shade to set your eyes with. Taking my JS8 brush, there's a little bit of like particle dust, but what matters is the pigment. So let's go in and see how it looks. Of course, I'm gonna tap on my brow bone just to set um, underneath the brow, upper half of my crease. So applying it, um, it just really blends into my skin tone. I'm um, comparing it to my uh, non-set eye versus my set eye. It does look like it does have a little bit of color in it, not just like a white, like a nudish color. That's it. there we go. So next, I'm going to take um, Tanacon, a light brown uh, shade, great for transitions. And here we go. And this is the first time using it on camera. I wanted you guys to see the, my first impressions. So here we go. I'm going to tap it on my outer side and then also in the inner part. And then right under where we set the eye. Gonna start lightly 
blending wow this blends right away like it blends so nicely like literally i did not have to do much effort and boom it's blended um and it packs a good amount of pigment being a transition shade it's definitely a lighter brown um one literally need no amount of like work it is stunning like not only is it blending but it's giving a great amount of color payoff Next, I'm gonna take Diet Root Beer, which is like the deeper brown shade right here, right next to Tanaka. And then I'm going in with my JS12 brush. It's a more tapered blending brush. Going right into Diet Root Beer, a lot comes onto the brush with a little tapping. And then I'm gonna apply it lower to create that dimension. Wow. Pigment. Oh, and I also wanted to do my base to see if those who, um, do their eyes after foundation and just see how it works um like how the fallout is and stuff and so far there's no fallout i think i said some reviews i'd watch they had some fallout i am not having fallout so far this is what we have so far tap up the brush really quick and then start to blend I haven't done a halo eye in so long but i was watching my old old instagram videos i was really inspired me to like Gonna do it today and also with a halo eye we can try on more shoes. And this shade as well, it's just so creamy and buttery. I haven't felt the shades. I'm gonna feel diet root beer. Wow, this is literally one swipe. Holy bananas. Wow. Like literally one swipe. Not only does it feel buttery, it's really smooth. And one swipe and there's payoff. And I love, like, oh, everything about it. It's already pigmented AF. I love the shade names. At first, like, with the yellow, I was like, ooh, like, I don't know about the colors. But no, this palette is stunning. Like, the colors, um, definitely, I'd say, worked really nice together. They're blending together. Usually with browns, I have to work harder or, like, blend harder. Literally, little motion it's fusing with the transition color dang honey like can anastasia do this sometimes i compare it to anastasia not to be shady or anything i feel like there's jeffrey cosmetics and then there's anastasia jeffrey is definitely at the top i in my opinion jeffrey star is the top makeup influencer makeup company that is quality of his products And he's just iconic. And like, w when in the beginning, when like, um, when Shane and Jeffrey's first series, when they mentioned that, like, ooh, let's make a palette. Like, I literally, I commented in their in the comments, I would totally buy this in a heartbeat, um, if they did it. And they did it. Look at me now, like, honestly, they tried to get it, um, when it first launched. I think I showed it on my Instagram. The site crashed and I had to work, so I just gave up. Thank goodness I was able to get it on the restock. It sold out really fast. Like, they're making history, and I love Shane Dawson so much, and I love Jeffree Star so much. Them together is honestly iconic in goals. But, like, I was kind of mad at Shopify because um, the site crashed, and I was like, they need to get someone else better than Shopify, but knowing Shopify, it's crazy how Shopify is, like, the best. And service um that influencers use to sell their products um sold out and crashed so i hope and pray that um shopify learned their lesson and are stepping up there again because i'm pretty sure um i i think i mentioned this before i try to get the boxy lux box from boxy charm um and i think they use shopify and this when they launched the boxy lux like it crashed like what happened with jeffrey and shane but thank god like besides that like i still got the palette and we're reviewing it honey so far it's performing stunningly it's blending and sometimes when i use like pro pigments they just like to blend away this is not blending away honey this is keeping its color and just blowing out into a really amazing thing also, I did a light nose contour today, and I'm obsessed. And if you look straight forward a lot, it really helps to blend. And also to see your face structure when you're contouring. I'm going to continue with that um, JS12 brush that we used. I'm going to kind of get any excess brown off. 
and I'm gonna dip into the shade not a fact literally I can't wait to use this shade and again I'm lightly tapping like maybe a couple taps you do not need a lot from these eyeshadow palette from this eyeshadow palette I'm gonna put that concentrated even not taking it too higher up well kind of where we place that brown because I feel like a brown and berry eye would be really stunned I need to do more halo eyes like this because they really make my eyes top. I'm gonna make sure I bring it high enough so you can actually see the color. Are we kidding? Not only is this color so pretty, it's giving off such a pretty dimension. It's blending, honey. I'm going back and just Soften the edges, soft circular motion. I'm gonna take not a fact and a little bit, just a little bit of flaming hot, so we get a more like redder tone. So glad that um, the mini controversy has a mirror. And I'm putting the where it got a little bit of flaming hot on the innermost edges, so we it's not all red; it's just that little inner part. That's actually really pretty. And then I'm gonna connect. So far, I'm loving this palette. No complaints so far. Taking my color switch. I'm gonna just blend the edges. And I thought Flaming Hot was not gonna go well with them mixed together, but honey, go ahead and mix your shades if you want it. Because with the purple, it's not exactly putting a red right on top of the purple. It's like mixing it in to be like almost like a lighter purple than not a fact, but like pinkish as well. And you know what? I should do that. Like since it's be mixing in together to be a lighter color, I should just put it on the also that I, use, I should use it to blend out the crease a little bit as well. Now that we've blended the shades, I cut the crease. I'm gonna use um, this brush I got. Um, I forget the company, like Alamar Cosmetics. And then I'm gonna use my um, Jeffree Star Cosmetics C0, you guys know. And we're doing a halo eye, so we want the cut to be right just in the center of the lid and then fade it out with the inner and outer corner. I'm lightly tapping and I did look above because when you look um, when you put your eyelid to your um, crease it um, will be like you'll it goes above your like crease to so you can see like that cut um, so the cut crease just doesn't disappear and then carefully just tapping it you could swipe but I find swiping doesn't get us a nice job as just tapping. Sometimes we can just bring a little bit inward. And I like to use the Jeffree Star C0 because the white is just going to bring out all the colors. I'm just using like a skin tone. Oh, my camera wants to die. But this is what we have for the cut crease so far. Literally so stunning. I just tapped in the inner and outer corners uh, so we can blend all the shades really nicely. I'm going to work from darkest to lightest. And thank goodness, Jeffree Star made really small brushes with Morphe. And I'm gonna start off with I'm Not a Fact. And on the very edges, just packing Not a Fact, um, on the edges of the cut crease and up to where that top, where the top of it is. We're making a halo eye. So it's gonna have a spotlight in the mid, a spotlight a shade to spotlight 
in the center and just bring light to the center and then a fade to the outer corner. I'm just tapping the edges, not a fact. Take the shade Controversy from the Mini Controversy palette. That way, it creates um, a more pop of color and um, definition as well. Because it's purple, so why not add just a more purple moment? Controversy is so pigmented as well, and it's really bright. Look how bright Controversy is. Then I'm gonna take Flame and Hot once again with that same brush and tap off the excess right in between not a fact so so that not a fact blends into has a like pinkish moment um and blends into controversy if that makes any sense just layering the shades so that they from lightest to darkest i'm gonna do my little color switch the excess off and then a mix of exposed this lighter shade lighter purple pinkish shade more like a lavender that's what i should say take this lavender shade honey and pack it on top Ooh, tap it off because honey she's neon and then for that bang like for that highlight spotlight moment go in honey with first my boyfriend's purse because i've been dying to see what this looks like i actually did put like a a little bit on the brow just to see what a tiny bit did. I haven't really put it on my eyes, so I'm gonna put my boyfriend's purse right here. It's a golden shimmery shade. And to pa pack it on, I'm gonna use my uh, smaller um, packing brush from Jeffree Star, the JS10. And I got this new spreading spray I wanted to show you guys. It's it to set my, set my skin for and after my foundation, along with Jeffree Star's setting spray, which I can't seem to find. Um, that he collaborated with Morphe on. It's gonna give you madness. So as I was saying, the Play All Day from Gerard is gonna smooth everything from your foundation, more matte, make it more matte and last longer. And then the Jeffree Star and Morphe spray, Jeffree Star and Morphe spray is gonna make your skin like dewy, honey. Use them together. I'm gonna spread uh, the my Morphe and Jeffree Star brush. Let it air out a little bit so it doesn't ruin the shade. Then go in with the My Boyfriend's Purse. A lot of particle dust doesn't kick up, but you get a lot of pigment, honey. I was not expecting that. I don't know if you can see, it almost looks like a more grayer tone. And it doesn't have a lot of, um, it's like not gold. Whoa. I try a little on my finger too. I thought this was a golder shade. It's more of like a grayish tone. Nonetheless, I'm actually gonna tap it on because it kind of looks stunning. Not the shade I was expecting, but it actually really brightens it up. Interesting, because it's brightening my eye and adding just a little shimmer. Almost looks like it's a shimmer and a matte almost. It does kind of give like a more alien vibe, which I kind of dig. And I'm just going to blend it on with, again, not a fab. A lot, a lot about a halo eye. It's just packing and blending. I've been dying to use this shade as well, called Ranch, with that same brush I used. This uh, has a lot more... Um, Seems to have a lot of more like particle dust um, when you dip into it. I call it particle dust, like the product, but. But whoa, this is brightening up the eye even more. That's crazy. I can't even get my eyes, some of my eyeshadows to perform like this. It just brightens, honey. Ranch, so pretty. I'm gonna do a dedicated video on this, but I'm gonna take my Extreme Frost from Jeffree Star and shade gag me. I'm also gonna highlight my face uh, with it. I'm gonna take the shade gag me from the new Extreme Frost by Jeffree Star. I'm gonna take it on this brush, wet it once again, a Gerard spray, and I'm gonna put the um, Extreme Frost right on top of um, Ranch. I'll say um, about this um, highlight is that you don't need a dip in, you just need a little bit. Ooh, I'm taking my Extreme Frost. It's a holochrome, so it's gonna have different colors show up. So you get that shimmery like moment. Blend the edges out. Boom, honey. I'm gonna take my rights here, deep black. I'm gonna smoke the edge of uh, the lash line out. So when we put on lashes, it's gonna blend in, honey. With my rights here, wow, this is probably the most pigmented black 
I'm gonna compare really quick to the Morphe and Jeffree Star Black. Morphe, Jeffree Star Black, little swipe. Then my rides here. Wow, yeah. So one thing I can tell you, this is Morphe and Jeffree Star Black. Uh, right here, um, this finger, um, the Shane Dawson um, and Jeffree Star collab. Literally one swipe. And it's darker, more pigmented. Holy shit. While we're swatching, I'm gonna swatch food videos. Doesn't um swatch food videos doesn't swatch as good as um the other ones, but I think it's because it's a neon shade. Um but I'm definitely gonna be using this palette, so we'll test it. Okay. Tapping off the excess and then carefully smoking out the lash. Yes, lash line. You don't even need a lot with this. Look at that. I don't want to take it too far up, but it's gonna act like my liner. And there's a little bit of fallout on that black. And I did get some transfer from Not A Fact on the inner part, but it's not really gonna matter because we're gonna really blend out the lash line. Look at that, provides such a pretty smoke to the eye. That then as you guys know, what I really like to do is I'm gonna take some darkness where, the, where I cut the crease, really concentrate that color, darker colors, Not A Fact, right on that cut crease. So this eye is definitely so dramatic, but we're not even with lashes, honey. So for lashes, I'm going with my TL Mitchell 2s. They're big and long. I really want to wear it so I can get a fluffy outer corner. So I'm going to really put these on really quick, do the other eye off camera, and then we'll, um, I'll give you guys my final thoughts. I'm also going to do my lower lash line. I'm just going to take um, all the shades I used uh, in order with lashes and everything. Get up in this gear. Guys, I have to be honest. When I started the look, I was like, I don't know how this is gonna look. But the lashes, are you seeing this? I am feeling myself, feeling the fantasy. Guys, this is what the looks like, this halo eye with these big TL2 lashes. Honestly, they complete the look. They just, uh, let's get a shot close up of the eyes and then we'll do the lips and we'll have the video and my review and my other thoughts. All right, guys, Um, this is the final look. How do we feel? We use the Conspiracy Palette by Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star and also the Mini Controversy Palette. Literally, these palettes are stunning. Literally, they blend so good. They're pigmented. You can build the pigment. They're gonna blend effortlessly. Um, the only, like, not really trouble, but just like, the only um, shade where I like, just had to do a little bit more effort is not a fact, but just on like blending the outer corners that like, it blends. Like, but like, honestly, they all blend the same, um, the same way. Literally, I'm gonna be using this a lot. How do I feel like we got, this is a complete look and I just need some Kylie lipsticks. A Kylie, if you wanna know the Kylie lipsticks, comment down below. I kinda did like an ombre look, like a purple with a nude center. So I'm gonna put my on my highlight um, really quick and then all right, I've never tried this um the Gag Me Highlighter Extreme Frost by Jeffree Star yet with a full face. Just do a little bit a few swipes. That's all you need. And I'm gonna do a full dedicated review on this. And then I'm doing my fingers. I don't wanna go too much into detail, but I find using your fingers really gets the product to its full pigment. And a brush doesn't really put it on well. So there's that highlight. What do you guys think? I see blindingness. I'm blind today, bit. Also, when I have full face glam, like this glam is just making me feel myself. The other side. And I'm not using reflectors or anything like that. It's my two soft boxes. And it's so pretty because it has this like reflect, like this blue to green pink reflect it's truly iridescent on the eyes the shade or this highlighter was okay but on the face it's a different story all right guys this is the finished look let's do a little montage like we always do and then it'll wrap up the video thank you all so much for watching hearing my thoughts 
on the conspiracy palette and the mini controversy if you like this video if you want to see more reviews from me from me want to see um a full dedicated review on the extreme false highlighter and more tutorials more reviews but definitely tutorials because i know you guys like tutorials please go ahead subscribe to my channel give this video a like um and comment if you got this collection if you were able to get it if you're gonna get it when it restocks and thank you all so so much nobody else can love you better i'm here just to treat you right you're the reason i'm alive you're the only pain i